You can now build a full drop shipping store or e-commerce store using Lovable and their new Shopify integration. Now, this is super exciting because if you know Shopify stores and you know Shopify in general, you know that all of them pretty much look the same. And, you know, there are many people who are doing drop shipping scams, making videos of little robot dogs walking around and then they're shipping them just normal stuffed animals. And then, you know, they're doing fraud with that and people can see oh this kind of like looks like Shopify I don't trust the website and you may have a legitimate business and then people you know kind of like say oh it runs on the same platform that those fake robot dogs are being sold on I'm not trusting it now it is kind of like a UI issue where people recognize the styling now Lovable is actually solving that because you can use the best e-commerce platform on your back in Shopify for order management, customer management, product management, you know, for all your marketing stuff, discounts, all that kind of stuff. But now you can build the front end fully custom in Lovable. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on custom themes that don't work or hire developers and all that kind of stuff. And I've been doing e-commerce stores and I've been building them in Shopify for myself. And, you know, for my businesses and I know a little bit about them is quite a pain finding good templates and they're, you know, you can't really customize them. So what Lovable is doing here is amazing. So let's set one up here and oh, it gives me a password prefill. I think we'll just ignore that for now. But let's go into Lovable and let's ask it, build a Shopify e-commerce e-commerce store. There you go. And then we can already provide some details about what this is what that we're trying to build. So let's sell, um, selling the viral Cairo board. There you go. I mean, it's not viral. It's I'm, I'm, I'm old. I'm a, I'm an old person when it comes to that. I've, I haven't been doing it for many years, but that is uh, back then the Cairo board was very uh, popular, but there you go. Now lovable is spinning the entire e-commerce store up. It's doing a health and wellness theme. Look at this, it sets it all up. So now as you can see it integrated natively here with Shopify. So let's allow the Shopify integration and it's now creating a whole Shopify store for us. And we can even visually edit that um, and tweak it and then use AI to tune it all up. It's pretty darn cool. And then also, let's say you're building that Shopify store and you're saying, you know what? I want a mobile app. I want to have a mobile app that people can download and send push notifications. You can do this with Lovable. You can go to lovable.despia.com and this is where you will get the prompts to set this up. So if you now go, for example, inside of here under one signal, um, you can get the prompt to set up push notifications in Lovable and Shopify. And then you can do like custom push notifications. Warning, Black Friday, click here and get 30% off and all that kind of stuff. So some cool stuff that you can do with that. Um, you know, you can then, you know, also ship it to the App Store. There's a full video on that. And to the Google Play Store. There's a full video on that. It meets all the store requirements. Um, definitely something worth checking out as well. But now, um, Lovable is setting up the entire store. Take a look at that. It sets up the design, the theming, um, gets the Shopify domain, connects with the Shopify token. Really cool stuff. So this can take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to make a cut and we'll be back when it's done. So as you can see, the store is now fully built with a custom theme. It doesn't look like the default darn themes or all that kind of stuff. Look at this beautiful animations inside of here. Looks great. So now let's type in uh, claim store. There you go. And now we can claim our store and then we can connect it with the actual Shopify store. And then we can import some products to drop ship and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'm doing my first drop shipping tutorial. Uh, let's go on claim. And now we're probably going to be redirected to Shopify and I'm going to select my account, which I already have set up. Let's claim the store. They got a very neat integration here. And now as you can see, the store is claimed, uh, open the Shopify admin and now I'm on my store, which I already had set up. So now we need to add some products, obviously. So we can just either add manual products if you're doing a legitimate business, but we're just for the sake of convenience or setting up a Shopify store. So we're going to look for Zendrop. 
There you go. They're the best ones for importing dropshipping products. Uh, let's install that. There you go. And now we're going to just sell the Cairo board. So let's install that plugin. Uh, wow, Shopify changed a lot. The last time I was in there, it was all purple. And then they have the green stuff. Uh, and now I got to link my credit card with it. So uh, give me a second. So I just added the credit card information. And now we're going to approve this. And now we'll be able to import some dropshipping products or retail arbitrage, if you want to sound fancy. There you go. Let's close that. And now we're going to look for some products. I'm going to look for the, ah, for the Cairo. I mean, they were like, we're back like 2022 ish. Oh, they don't have it anymore. What? Cairo board. They must have. What? Oh shit, I I feel really old now. <laughs> okay, I gotta finish my account though. So let's look for posture. They should have some stuff. Let's see. I can't believe that they don't have them in stock. I assume maybe there's some lawsuits with them. Let's see. Uh interesting. I can't find the it was like the board you lay on and hurts on the back and Wow. I don't think they have it anymore. Um, maybe usually they have some odd names like back board massager. This is usually backboard. Let's see. All right, let's do spine board. This doesn't work. We're pivoting. We're doing another product. Let's see. Other oh, API calls are kind of slow. No, not not loading right now. Let's try reloading the page. Okay, I'll see. Maybe maybe it's just we shouldn't sell the spine board. This is probably lawsuit uh, waiting to come. No, we they don't have it. So, oh, there was something for. Let's just do a uh, posture because there are usually some odd keywords. Uh, let's just look for posture. Let's just rebrand posture. Okay. Yeah, I can live with that. So let's see. Is there anything that people can lay on? I think this is good. Wait a sec. That is $23. Oh, my God. That's expensive. <laughs> uh, not that good of a product here. They, they, actually, they're priced pretty terribly. Um, for some stuff that comes from China, but uh, huh? Wow, those are quite some prices here. Let's just okay, this is two dollars. We can afford that. Let's take this one. Okay, and now let we just add this to our, to our products here. So I'm just going to import, uh, publish to the store. Uh, got it. Don't display this message again. Okay. So now I just added this to the store, right? So now we should be able to take a look at our products and we can see we got the we got the product inside of here. We got the description imported, the images imported, and all that kind of stuff. I apologize, my camera was kind of bugging out, but I think we're good now. So we have this all imported. So now we can go to Lovable. And now let's tell Lovable, add my products, right? Add my products. So we have them added to the store. There you go, because they're not imported yet. If we go to the live page here in preview mode, we will see actually it's already imported and it already added the profit margin. So I think we're buying it for like two bucks plus shipping and we're selling it already for 42. So we don't even need to add the product. It's already added. Uh, but if I click on add to cart, actually it does add it to cart, but oh yeah, the toast is in here. It's up there. I didn't see that. But yeah, there you go. That's nice. So you, you now got them all in the cart. You got a beautiful custom cart here. And they, you know, you can do like a whole bolt and then you do like checkout with Shopify. And then it literally takes you to the checkout page. That's quite cool. Look at that. So you now got like a whole 
Shopify integration. Now, of course, you can install it, you can customize it. What I highly suggest you to take a look at is if you need custom themes, look at 21st Dev, and they got some great templates. I apologize for my being buggy. Dia doesn't work too well. But you got some great templates inside of here, and you can copy the prompts, you can paste them in Lovable, and it'll do beautiful stuff. So, you know, we can look for some stuff for online stores inside of here. And, you know, you can kind of like see who are the authors and all that kind of stuff. So let's say we like this UI system here. We can open this, and then we can go inside of here and copy the prompt. And now we can go into Lovable, and I can just paste this to make it even look even better, you know? Because right now it looks kind of boilerplate-ish, you know, it looks kind of cookie cutter. So now I can paste those prompts, or I can create my own prompts, or I can also go visually inside of here and visually edit the elements and their styling and all that kind of stuff, right? But I can then edit the whole interface, or I can use AI to do that for me. So it's pretty cool. You can do some cool custom themes now and you can really extend what's possible normally with Shopify, especially when it comes to styling and theming and all that kind of stuff. And then you still have the great platform with Shopify. So you can be on TikTok shop, you know, Instagram shop, if that thing still exists um, and all those kinds of platforms, Google shopping and so on and so forth. So really cool. Then you can have your true custom website and you're not looking like the robot doc scam or those AI generated ads that you purchase stuff and then you get it. And it's not at all how it should be. And, you know, you now have it natively integrated inside of Lovable pretty cool. So we'll wait till this is done. And I apologize for my browser being slow in my video lighting. Um, I seems like I got to go to open AI Atlas. But now as you can see, we got a beautiful custom theme, a custom style going on inside of here to do this kind of stuff in Shopify. You would need a third party plugin and then there's another $10 a month. You don't have to pay now $10 here, $10 there, $10 here. Um, you can just build this now with the help of AI using Lovable AI. Super cool for everybody running an e-commerce store or considering building their own brand. Highly suggest you take this to build the store looks great, feels great, and you, you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars anymore for all those plugins just to get a countdown and all that kind of stuff. You can do this now with the power of AI. Let me know how you like this. And then again, you can use Despia to turn that store into native mobile app with access to all native features. If you want to learn more about that, again, I apologize for my browser being slow. It's a terrible browser. I would highly suggest you not to use Dia, uh, but then you can take a look at deskia.com and you can turn your web app into a mobile app. Oh, I didn't mean to drag the image, but you can turn your lovable web app, aka lovable slash Shopify web app slash website into a mobile app, send push notifications and do all that fancy stuff instead of your application to improve your user retention and keep people coming back and send out Black Friday alerts and all that kind of stuff. So pretty cool. Take a look at that if that's something that interests you, but I'm really stunned by it. Really extends what you can do in Shopify. I think it's a great integration. Take a look at it. Take care. Bye.